Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon Convoy episode, I honestly have no idea. I'm gonna start the episode by saying that this is a new day of recording, number one. Number two, this is also the day that I plan to finally finish this run. 183 away that way, that's all fine and dandy, let's go ahead and do it. And just because I apparently don't feel that the game is difficult enough over here, I'm over here playing alongside my friend Jack over here. You might not, you might know Jack. I could be in a better state of mind right now to be playing this game. That's all I'm going to say right now. But either way, as you drive along the highway, you are suddenly shaken by numerous explosions. Um, alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and prepare to engage because why the fuck not? I really hope my, uh, <laughs> my senses are not a bit jacked up here today. Cause it's, it's, it's been a, a wild day. It's been a wild day, that's all I'm going to say right now. Alrighty, um, let's see, we have uh, Mace Windu Dude over here and two of these guys as well. Let's go ahead and probably, hmm, you want to focus fire for sure, right? Um, let's go after this individual right here. Yeah, is that good? Or do we go down here? You know what, let's go after this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, bring shields down over here. Um, uh, should I bring my shields up yet? I'm going to hold off a little bit here. So I'm going to bring the shields down. And then we're going to bring you to start shooting here, you here. Let's bring you into melee range as well, if we can, my friend. And let's see if we can get you kind of close here. We have another obstacle coming this way. Let's go ahead and also bring up my shields for now, and let's throw some mines. I would say probably on this individual up here. Uh-oh. So let's see about tossing one here and here. You, my friend, are going to have to move. Alrighty, so you're moved now. Let's go ahead and attack him, and if you can, see if you can attack this guy who has no shield as well. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. You I forgot about because, uh, <laughs> well, I just forgot about you because, uh, yeah. Anyway, damage over here. This guy is dead already, so we're down to one, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's see about coming up this way. And, excuse me, don't dodge my melee attack, you piece of shit. I feel like the games, the developers have been working on the, oh, you need to move. Like, right now. Alrighty, since this guy has no shield, let's go ahead and start attacking him. You come down this way. I feel like the developers have been definitely making a lot of strides in terms of the AI not to get attacked by melee, because before I felt like back in the day, or at least like not back in the day, listen to the grandfather over here, but uh, I felt like the AI for the enemies would just hang out there and let you like just basically go to town on them, you know? Um, Let's bring the shield down, and you come over here, and you come over here. Okay, yeah, but I feel like the AI used to just hang out there and you would just kind of go to town with the melee attacks, but now they actually do seem to, like, you know, purposely try to get the fuck out of there. Did we really not bring the shields down over here? My lord. I am more gone than I thought I was. <laughs> Alrighty, you keep attacking this way and you come down that way. Come on, buddy. Alright. Your mash attack, perfect. Do the monster mash over here. Now we have this guy over here. Let's see about... Um, let's just toss some mines on him. I'm not, I'm pretty sure that it should, you know, ignore. Yeah, I would definitely ignore that shield for sure. And then you attack this way, you attack that way. This guy should be basically done at this point. Uh-oh, we have a precarious situation coming up over here. So let's move you out of the way, my friend. Alrighty. Shields are still not down on that guy. It's actually pretty impressive. How is our health looking? Armor's looking pretty good on our, or not armor, but at least health's looking pretty good on our convoy. And our units are still doing relatively all right. We could bring the shield down or just stun this guy. We'll just stun him for now. Have him stop attacking. You focus on him. Focus over here. If you could get a shot, go right ahead and do it. But I really doubt you are. He's dead anyway. All right, not a big deal. Let's see what our rewards are here. You find 12 fuel, 45 scrap. We will take this loot, if you don't mind, and we'll continue with our journey over here. So we're at 269 scrap. My lord, I left off with a lot of scrap laps last time. Laugh time. <laughs> okay, let's uh, keep it together here, Falcon. There's children watching. 76 uh, kilometers that way. Let's um, continue taking the road for sure. We have a lot of fuel, so I'm not really too worried about that. All right, we're getting closer and closer, and I'm about to break. I'm pretty sure it's down here, right? So we probably should not follow that road all the way off here. All righty, so let's come to the spaceship mercury drop off the third item we only have one more to kind of drop off and we'll be done the good thing about it is i'm pretty sure we already did the mission at this point it's just a matter of picking up the item itself we have to purge in the plague side objective still which we could do but i don't know maybe let's go to camp though really quickly and see about healing ourselves up a little bit we have a lot of money anyway there's nothing to sell let's repair for one bring this armor up and bring your health up and that should be good for you. We're at 229 still. Let's see about, um, 
21 fuel. How far... Let's leave the camp here really quickly. How far is the flux capacitor from here? Let's try to guesstimate exactly how much fuel I'm going to need to make it back and forth. 113, that's not too far. It's basically to the north, huh? Okay, that's not too bad. I, I'll probably buy, like, let's say... Maybe up to 31. That should be enough to make it back and forth, right? Let's do 36 just to be on the safe side, in case we run into like a side objective as well that I might want to pick up. So that's pretty good. Let's return. I'm not going to heal up anymore, but let's see about doing some upgrades over here. Now, for instance, we have Ashley over here. We can still upgrade her health and armor quite a bit. As you can see, she has amazing armor as it is. So what we could do is just pump this up a little bit. Maybe even get some more range on her. I don't think it's a bad idea. Range is always really important. So we'll do... How, how would health go about her? Hmm, doesn't seem to be impacting your health too much, huh? So maybe armor might be the better thing. We're down to 109 if I do this. I think it's worth it. So we'll do that for Ashley. Let's bring back ourselves over here. And let's see, your range and ra uh, your range and handling is max. We could do one more mind guard on you, armor, and health. I'll consider it. Let's see, what about you? Ah... <sighs> Let's look at it. Let's look at the armor here really quickly. If I was to, you know, invest in this, look at this. There's only two bars. That's barely anything, whatever, like whatsoever. So I think, yeah, we should might as well just stick to the uh, shield MK3. Is the health boost anything of importance, really? Well, from 750 up to 1,000, that's 250 HP. That's not too bad, honestly. Let's do it. We'll, we'll grab this um, health upgrade as well. Plus, it doesn't really cost too much for at least one level. It's only 10, right? So we'll do that, that's okay. Now, you my friend, your mind guard's already maxed out, we could do armor and health. Remember, if the convoy goes down, it's game over, even if we're doing amazing over here. So we might want to increase this a little bit more. Like this and that. I think that's pretty good. I think it's worth it to keep our, you know, convoy pretty healthy. So we're down to 29, 36 uh, fuel. That's pretty good. Let's leave camp. Alrighty, so we have some decent upgrades over here. And let's see about 113 upwards, right? It's a lot of mountain area over here, so I guess I should probably take the road so we have to avoid that here. As you drive along the highway, your sonars pick up several raider vehicles closing in on you. Raider the weapons, try to outrun them or supercharge. We're going to definitely fight them. Come on, dog. Have you not been noticing what we've been doing to like every sort of opposition so far? Uh, I'm going to try to leave everybody close here so we can just kind of focus fire. We have two dudes up here and three dudes down here. None of them have any shields, which is pretty good. So how about we start off by just stunning... This guy back here, just get him out of the fray here for a while. And then we're going to focus fire over here. So let's do... Attack him, move down this way. Attack him, and move down this way. Attack him, move down this way. And then you could... Wow, you could attack him really far away. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's bring our shields up as well over here. And let's see about dropping some mines on Bad Boy up there, who's already kind of stunned. He's not going anywhere. Alrighty. Uh, let's see... Let's get you into the fray here. Tag him. Tag him. Uh, you might as well just start charging up to this guy. He's over here just going to hang out. We might as well just focus fire on this dude. Come down this way. You attack him still. But you continue the assault over here. Perfect. This guy just basically decided to kill himself. He was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to hang out in the middle of this posse over here with melee, dude. What's the worst that could possibly happen? And, you know, he found out the hard way. You're over here launching missiles. I'm not necessarily a fan of that, my friend, so how about you just um, stop being a dickbag right now? You come up this way, and let's start attacking here, over here. Oh, you're about to go down. How you avoided death is really beyond me. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's launch a little bit of a stun. Let's go work on this dude, and let's just toss the mines on top of him, too. <laughs> Love it. Alrighty, focus here, focus on this guy, boom, boom, shake that rump. We have one dude just about left over, to be honest here. We have some dangers approaching us, but nothing that's going to really catch us off guard. There he goes. Come on, bring him down. Let's get you closer to the action over here. How am I liking the range on this guy? You know, it's, it's alright, it could be definitely better. Some of our units have amazing range over here. He's not one of them. But then again, he's my melee dude, so that would make sense. I could get him go over there closer for an attack, but you know what? I feel like this guy's just about met his maker. Let's also stun him so no more additional damage happens over here. We'll bring up our shields just for the hell of it, I guess. And there he goes down. Perfect. Not a big deal. Another fight in the bag. You've successfully defeated all the raider vehicles. Surprisingly, the raiders start to cheer and open radio channels. 
Fabulous performance, splendid display, jolly good work. Finally, a worthy challenger for the great Sir King Killer, the educated. I have never seen this one before, and I'm excited about it. Um, let's respond. We speak of chess, of course, the greatest sport known to the educated elite. I like how the Raiders are talking about chess over here, that's pretty impressive. Sir King Keeler, the... Keeler? Oh my lord, I should take another drink just for that one alone. Sir King Killer, the educated, has lacked a worthy opponent for quite some time, leaving us in a spot of bother. Pray, show your valiant skills as a battlefield commander on the battlefield of chess. What say you, good man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm finding this more funny just because of my state, or the fact that these motherfuckers are over here calling me good man, and... <laughs> just the way they're talking, it's hilarious for a raider. Um, yeah, I accept. Sure, why not? Wonderful! <laughs> oh, this guy just said wonderful. Let us proceed. <laughs> wonderful, good chap. Uh, let us proceed with the game of chess. A battleground for rivals' ideologies to slug it out with glee. Pray take quite good, sir. <laughs> May the best man win. This is fucking ridiculous at this point. Um, fuck, I'm literally gonna play chess over here, text version? Okay. Hey, I always start off by moving a pawn. I never start with the knight. Uh, <laughs> I could flip the board and... I'm gonna move the pawn. That's how you always start in chess anyway, at least I do. Aha! Clearly your intent is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. A for effort, good sir. Sir King Killer, the educated moves a pawn. This is... I am no state right now you're doing fucking chess through text. Okay, so he also moved his pawn. I have no idea what's happening. All I can tell you right now is that we're going to take a little bit of a swig here. And, um... Oh, that's harsh. Ooh. Sir King Killer the Educated moves a pawn. Alrighty. I have... Like, dog, I can't even envision the board what's happening right now. Okay, so I've moved my pawn. Have I moved my queen pawn or my king pawn? Not really sure. Let's say we moved the queen one, though. Um, let's go ahead, now that we've done that, I'll move a, a bishop or a knight. It's one of those, usually. I can move another pawn as well. Let's go for the, um, the knight. Sir King Killer, the educated, looks thoughtful for a moment before making his next move. He moves a pawn. I could ponder, I could flip the board. Let's go ahead and ponder. Your next move awaits. Alrighty, so he's moved two pawns, I moved a pawn and a bit and a knight or a bishop. I already forgot which one it was. I think it was a knight, though. I can move a rook excitedly. I can move my queen. I can move my king. Why haven't I flipped this board yet? Are you... Is that what you really want me to do, game? I feel like that's what it's actually egging me on to do. I'm going to continue playing this game of chess, though, just because I can. I'm going to go ahead now and move another pawn. Sir King Killer, the educated, looks thoughtful for a moment before making his next move. He moves his queen. He's on the run. Flip the board. I'm going to say he's on the run. Your next, two, uh, your next move awaits. Um, he moved the queen. He's moved two pawns and a queen, right? Let's go ahead here and apparently let's move my rook excitedly. Let's move my bishop this time around. Sir King Killer, the educated, looks thoughtful for a moment before making his next move. He moves his queen. He's on the run. I, I feel like this game wants me to flip the board over. Let's see here. I'll ponder. I will move the knight again. Sir King Killer, the educated, looks thoughtful for a moment before making his next move. He moves his king. What to do? Wow, he's moving his king already? Maybe he's over here, um... Moving it to the side and getting it, like, uh, shelled up and whatnot. Let's go ahead and move my queen now. Moves the knight. Consider my next move. Move a knight over here. I'm not sure if I should really be flipping the board or not. But I, I feel like that's what it's kind of egging me on to do. Bishop moves the pawn, moves the knight. Moves the pawn. Like, nothing's really happening, right? I'll move my king just for the hell of it. Yeah, you know what? Let's flip the board over. The look of disappointment on Sir King Killer, the educated face as you flip the board chills you to the bone. He glares stonily at you until you leave. It turns out you weren't the word the adversary was looking for. Onwards. What? Oh, why did I do it? It wasn't going anywhere. There was no, like, intent. There was no messages telling me, like, hey, I took, you know, I took one of his pawns. I took one of his knights. It was just moves, moves, moves. Nothing was happening. Ah, oh, I, I really hope I didn't really screw myself out of a additional unit or something. That is unfortunate. Oh boy. I apologize. That that's that's terrible. I should have probably just hung out there a bit longer, but you know, I blame my friend Jack over here. 
Alright, so there is our objective coming up right now. This will be for the flux capacitor itself. And we have 21 fuel left over. As you drive down the road, you see a car off to the side with a f white flag hanging on the window. That could be a trap, definitely, but let's investigate it. Why not? When you get closer to the car, you see the car is riddled with bullets and scorch marks. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a bullet pings off the hood of your car. You hear two horrendous accents over a speaker claiming that they want Philip Davis to come out or they will kill everyone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reason with the attackers because I'm not sure if we have a Philip Davis. You personally get out of the convoy and walk towards where the shots came from. Wow, the ball's on you, my friend. Several more shots land around you as you keep walking. Once you are within 30 yards, two men stand up from behind some rocks. One is a short, fat black man and the other is a taller white man. Both seems to be around 50 and are wearing very poorly made suits. The men look very confused that you are not Philip. They whisper and argue between each other while you stand at them. I'm going to go ahead and um, wait it out. Finally, the would-be assassins ask you where Philip Davis is. You prepare to respond that you don't know when another convoy passes yours. The assassins believe that you were trying to distract them and they start shooting at you and the other convoy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and escape. Or should I shoot them? I'll escape. You escape and leave the other convoy to fight the assassins. Not your problem anymore. I, maybe I should have shot him after all. I'm not sure where the fuck this Philip Davis might be though. I was hoping that would kind of uh, trigger some sort of event here. Alrighty, so how about we wrap it up here today? And, well, not today. I'm going to continue recording a few more episodes because, I, again, I, I'm dead set on finishing this run here today. Um, so apologies for my rude interruption there. It's not time to sign off yet. There's still, like, probably four more minutes left in this episode, Falcon. So, let's continue going forward here. I apologize. I have no idea what time I started. I finished the episode off and I was kind of like, wait a minute. There's still uh, more time left on the timer here. I can't tell time, obviously, right now, but hopefully you don't hold it against me. You arrive at the location of the Torvac Pylon facility. It is teeming with activity. It is surrounded by numerous Torvac vehicles. We're going to definitely attack the facility because that's what we have to do for the flux capacitor anyway. Or we can actually radio it, too. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and radio. See what's up. Greetings, we are Torvac. This facility is out of bounds for non-Torvac. State your business. I am going to demand an energy source, if I could say so myself. We appreciate your cooperation in stating your intent. This conversation has been of sufficient length to send our stealth units to assault you. Prepare to be annihilated. Your convoy is surrounded by Torvac vehicles emerging out of stealth. They open fire on your vehicles. Bastards, kill them all. What? Scumbags you guys are. Alrighty, so let's see what we're kind of dealing with here. Let's move you out of the way. We have at least three units coming down from the broad side. They have no... Oh, they have no shields, huh? That works out pretty good for me, then. Let's have you um, come down this way. And start attacking this guy. You could do the same. You can move back. Attack him. Attack him. Now, none of our con or none of our units over here are under convoy, so he's going to be taking a little bit of damage, which is pretty bad. So let's go ahead and stun. Maybe... You have a scary looking weapon, and so do you. As a matter of fact, all of you have like, scary looking weapons. Oh, you have an EMP, I think. Let's bring you down, because you have a possible EMP. Let's bring up our shield as well. Oh, there's a missile. And let's go ahead and boom. Boom. Shake that rum. This guy's about to go down, which is pretty ideal anyway. So you're out of the way now? Good. Good, good, good. There he goes. Excellent. Let's switch over to down this side. And bring the assault over this individual down here, and then you move up that way. That missile missed every single launch that it over here launched on us. We'll attack this guy for now, and focus fire on this dude. He is now done. Perfect. One down. Oh, there's another one down anyway. This guy's down to go, and let's move you down this way. We have the EMP ready to go as well. Do we want to stun this guy, or do we go back here? I'm going to say we stun Homeboy all the way back here, and we start launching some mines on him, because he's over here just taking pot shots at us. You come back this way, and then attack him. But this guy over here should be basically done at this point, right? I would say so. Alrighty. Yeah. Can you... There you go, buddy. Alrighty. Let's bring everybody down over here. Oh, hey, look, an achievement. Optimal strategy? Oh, <laughs> I like how the game's giving me an optimal strategy achievement right now. I am telling you right now, there is nothing optimal about my gameplay at the moment, but that's besides the point. So we'll keep attacking this guy over here. You are within range as well. I think um, melee dude could just hang out up front. Let's go ahead and stun him. If we can, let's just go ahead and launch some mines at him as well. Why not? Make this a lot easier. There we go. 
Alrighty, so you defeated the final Tor Torvac vehicle protecting the pylon facility. We got 15 fuel, 39 scrap. Let's investigate the facility. Upon searching the facility, you locate a functional energy pylon the professor was talking about. You return it to your convoy and prepare to head back. It should prove sufficient for the professor to construct you a flux capacitor. Excellent. Alrighty, and that's the last piece that we need as well for the puzzle as well here. So now we have to go 85 up. Is there enough time? Um... Yeah, I guess there is. At least I'll take us up here to the professor himself and we'll wrap up the episode from that point. We have 26 fuel, 68 scrap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just bushwhack through here because that road, who knows where that leads to. You spot a figure in the distance that looks like somebody bound to a pole. Yeah, let's go ahead and investigate it. Why not? You discover a severely mutilated man tied to a pole. He appears delusional but emits a faint noise that sounds like raiders. It doesn't look like he has long to live. I could free him and bring him to the medical bay. I could, you know, say, poor fellow, better put him out of his misery. I'll see if we could just rescue him. Why not? Thanks to your medical attention, the man seems to recover. Hey, good for him. He thanks you for your help and explains that he's an engineer, captured by the raiders and left for dead when he was seized. When he sees being useful, he begs you to return him home. He'll be able to properly ward you there. I'm um, sure, why not? Very well. Um, where's your home, my friend? Side objectives. Which one are we looking for here? Left for dead. 296 down to the south, huh? Well, I guess we're heading down there regardless of which for our Mercury ship. So yeah, we'll probably do that one. Why not? See what he rewards us with here. But we want to go home up here to the flux capacitor and meet with Doc Brown. We have uh, 17 fuel by the time we're here. You return to the professor's laboratory. Let's approach the laboratory. Upon entering the laboratory, you find a professor working underneath a massive piece of machinery. He notices your arrival and says, Hello, welcome back. Yo, dog, we got the energy pylon. Great, wonderful, excellent. Haha, -ha, this is amazing. A functional Torvac energy pylon. I've wanted to get my hands on one of these for ages. Alrighty, dog, let's just, um, you know, yeah, roll out here. Cool, we got it? Excellent, that's our last piece that we need. So at this point now, we really do call it an episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. And again, apologies for messing up that chest thing. I <laughs> wasn't thinking clearly, and I'm still not even into the next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.